Hi, it's the 6th of November, and tonight we're at the Hyde Park Picture House for two screenings of Colin and the Human Centipede. That's right, Colin is a very low budget zombie movie apparently made with £50, where Colin is an effective zombie and the whole film is from his point of view. The Human Centipede is a disturbing tale of a German doctor that sews three people together from mouth to anus, and you can just imagine what the consequences are going to be. I'm quite terrified of that. actually happened when we first went to Canada, there was a publication that said that the movie cost £800,000, and we thought that was hilarious. We thought, well, you know. And someone was there who said, well, 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 how much did you spend on it? Um, and my sales agent, who was responsible for dragging us to Canada, thought it would be a tremendous waste of time. Uh, she said, you know, well, it was about £400, £500, and I sort of laughed and went, I don't have £400, £500, we, we didn't spend any money at all, it was about 40, 45 quid at most, maybe 50. And the woman who asked the question, how much did it cost, sort of said, you should you should tell people about that, which I always felt we should anyway, just put everyone's frame, put an audience's head in the right place so they know, all right, we're watching a film that's shot on the camera, that, that we, we know our expectations are kind of low in terms of production value. We're here tonight with the director Mark Price of the film and atmospherically we're set in the Hyde Park Picture House basement yeah. which I thought was quite fitting considering fitting. the theme of the film. So Mark, is it true that you made the film on a £45 budget? Um, it wasn't our budget, we, we actually overspent, the plan was not to spend any money at all. Um, so I think by spending one penny that puts us I think 100% over budget, so £45, I mean I'm not very good with money. Oh, wow. <laughs> but um, no, the idea was we, we were with the film, we had to work with what we had available to us, and we had uh, amazing actors who were able to bring a lot of depth to roles, big or small. And uh, these uh, knowledge of these locations, we knew when they'd be quiet at certain points of the day. So we'd say, right, let's go and shoot there at this time, and hopefully it'll look desolate, like the, the world is ending. Do you think that you'd probably be doing another zombie film? I don't know uh, that I do another zombie film. I mean, I do have uh, an idea for the street gang yeah. uh, sequence. I, I kind of think that there's a lot more going on with those guys that can be explored, whether it would be in a, in a movie or a comic book. I don't really know. But I definitely have a very solid start and yeah. a very solid ending for a story involving Slingshot Guy and uh, that sort of uh, 
that sort of that thread. But that would be very human centric, yeah. and there wouldn't be many zombies in that movie. I so I'm not, it, yeah. I'm not sure that it would be uh, the, the <laughs> it'd be that that much of a zombie movie. But I think in terms of drama and character, I think there's a lot there to explore. In the forums and on the websites and on the internet, it's everywhere. Everyone's kind of practically talking about it. So it must be pretty kind of kind of this big accomplishment that after so many months of filmmaking that you finally get that kind of fan response. Well, it's really exciting because I mean, I'm, I'm not looking at that stuff. I'm far too shy yet. <laughs> I'm really scared to, like, to, to read a lot of stuff. I'm not Googling myself and then seeing what comes up. So it's, it's all a very, uh, it's, it's a very new experience. I think I'm just trying to sort of keep my, my feet on the ground. And, yeah. and I just want people to, to look at this story that we wanted to tell and hopefully it'll find its audience. And I think because of everything that's happened uh, in terms of the press and, and uh, the interest in the film, I think what was very fortunate for us is that there's a good chance of the movie finding its audience a lot sooner than we ever expected. Because I did initially think that audience would just be my mates. Yeah. You know? Thank you very much for talking to us, Mark, and we wish you all the best luck in the future. No, and maybe we'll interview you again when Hopefully, you're receiving yeah. an Oscar. Oh, I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> but a man can dream. <laughs> Always weird or as sick as this. So, without any further ado, I'm going to hand you over to Tom Sick, who's the director, who's just going to say a few words, and then we'll show the film. Thanks. Great. Thanks, guys, for coming. And uh, at this uh, midnight hour, uh, to our yeah, very sick uh, film, you already said it. So, maybe it's nice to tell. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows uh, already what's the story about, but. Uh, I designed the construction of the human centipede together with a real-life surgeon in, uh, in Holland. So the construction is 100% medically accurate, <laughs> so it helps a little uh, with the experience, I think, afterwards. So if you are a surgeon, you can actually perform this at home. Hi, the centipede is just finished and we're now seeing what many people seem to be thinking is a very gruesome film. So what did you think of it? Um, it's not really the sort of film I could ever justify to my Oh, I feel nauseous after that. I really do. That's disgusting. Good though. Um, yeah, it was very well made, but I'm going to have nightmares for a good few weeks now. Very, very disturbing. So, overall, really, it's vomits and buckets here. <laughs>